Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Going to be doing a deep dive on the best bets that we're getting here on the Prize Picks board. Whether it's NBA, NHL, college basketball, I got you guys covered. Going to be diving into the best value bets, the best odds bets, as well as the stats to back them up. We're coming off of a 4 and 0 sweep, uh, two back to back clean sweeps on the YouTube video. So, 4 and 0 the past two videos, which is great. Looking to continue that success in tonight. So, if you're new to the channel, Hit that like button and subscribe. Hitting that like button does really help out my channel. I appreciate it all. And let's get into these picks. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at HeartDFS. As you can see here, we nailed the Anthony Davis over and the Jamal Murray, as well as the previous night as well. So as I mentioned, 4-0 on the past two YouTube videos. So hopefully we get another clean sweep tonight. Continue the streak there. But in terms of the board, as I mentioned, um, here's some of the, the best you know kind of probability bets we're getting so far. Uh, but obviously these are the ones with push or, or excuse me, with push potential, whether it's under push or whether it's over and push. So you guys can definitely take a look here. We had Connor Garland over, or excuse me, under push, under, you know, two and a half shots in a goal. Price picks has him at two. Uh, so that's why I, I just don't really like betting these that have, you know, the huge push potential, unless maybe it's like uh, one of the superstars. But right now, I'm just going to steer clear of that and kind of move on to the no push potential bets. As always, I'm using RunGoodProps.com. If you guys want 50% off your first month to help, you know, with your research and betting, make sure to head check out RunGoodProps.com. Hit the discount code, discount coupon, put in my name, Hart, H-A-R-T, and it'll get you guys 50% off the first month. But the first prop I want to deep dive into right now is going to be Mikel Bridges here at 26 and a half points in rebounds. That's what FanDuel has them at, and they have them at minus 115 to hit those odds. So we can see we're getting a little, a little bit of a line discrepancy between FanDuel and some other sports books. Because if we pull them up here on DK, they have them at 26 and a half, and they have them at minus 125 here. And I do like the over. Uh, the reason is, uh, let's just pull them up here real fast. Bridges, um, I don't mind his points either. I think his points are solid. Um, but I think his points and rebounds is a, little, a tad bit safer, I guess. But we're going to take the over there on him. And the reason why I like Bridges here in this spot is because, uh, let's pull him up his game long. But as you can see here, he's averaged almost 27 points per game. Uh, in I don't know how many games he's played with uh, the next, I think, at least 15. As you can see, he is averaging almost close to 27 points per game uh, since he's been traded to the Nets. Absolutely wild. The pull up his box score. He's just one of those guys that we like to target. Why? Because he's playing huge minutes, playing close to 40 minutes a game. He's the number one option on the, the, the Nets, or excuse me, yeah, excuse me, can't even talk. On the Nets, uh, if you guys haven't been watching, he's number one option, shooting 20 plus times a game. Uh, he's playing close to 40 minutes a game. He's shooting a ton of threes. He's a decent three-point shooter. He can get to the foul line, and he's averaging a little over four rebounds per game, so... I mean, as you can see here, 23, 23, 34, 25, 34. Obviously, bad shooting game, 10. Uh, then 30, 33, 38, 21, 31, 24. Uh, so, yeah, I, I love the line here for his points and rebounds. I think his points is safe as well. You can even go his PRA or fantasy score. I mean, this game is going to be pretty low scoring. Uh, I know the lines right now, we can take a look at that. They have it at 219.5, so not too high scoring. A uh, four-point spread should should be pretty close, but Bridges is just coming off, and the Nets are coming off a game where they were terrible. Uh, the box score really doesn't tell at all. They were down like 15, 20 plus, you know, through the second quarter into the third quarter, and they really didn't make a run until like the first four minutes of the fourth quarter, where they brought it within 10, and, and so they kind of made it look like it, it was a game where it really wasn't. Bridges actually, he was just terrible. He really struggled. Uh, Nine to 21, still got 18 points, four rebounds, so he's even close to hitting that. Even in a blowout, even playing terrible. So I do like the over here. I think it's a very solid bet. Minus 125 odds on DraftKings uh, to hit the over there. So I do think that's a pretty solid bet. As you can see, the board's favoring the over. 56.4% chance of that hitting. Overall, in terms of you know the highest probability bet right now, the board is saying the under on Jaden Aiken's points there. Uh, right now, the sportsbooks have him at 10.5. At least FanDuel does. And his line on price picks is 11 and a half. So you can see there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. About a 64% chance of that uh, hitting under according to the board. Uh, so if you want to go with that, I don't mind it. I think hurdle over shots and goal there of 2.5 is decent as well. A few different you know sites have them uh, at pretty solid odds. 
But the one I'm going to pair with my Mikel Bridges is probably going to be Russell Westbrook here. I don't mind the Terry Rozier. I think it's a pretty solid one. But with Russ, as we can see, FanDuel once again has him at minus 120 to hit over 32 and a half. Uh, this is a 55.8% probability of him hitting over 1 and 31 and a half. As we can see on DK Sportsbook, he is minus 135. The juice is heavily on the over, minus 135 to hit over 31 and a half. So everything's kind of lining up so far. We pull him up on prize picks, 31 and a half. Obviously, everything's lining up. Going to take more there. And the reason is there is no Paul George. He is out pretty much till the playoffs if they survive and make it to the playoffs. I think there's a chance they could fall out if they end up doing terrible and losing a lot of their uh, the last few, you know, two weeks, three weeks of games. But with no Paul George, we know that's going to be more usage to go around to guys like Russ and Kawhi Leonard who are going to have to run the offense here uh, because I think Terrence Mann will, start in, will probably start in place of Paul George. Maybe Eric Gordon. doesn't really matter whoever starts because Kawhi Leonard, Paul, Kawhi Leonard and Russ are going to lead this team. Uh, the minutes have been funky for Russ uh, recently. You know, he was seen low to mid-20s there for a few games in which I think they went 2-1 and one or 3-0. and oh. So they were doing solid within the past few games. Minutes went back up 37-34, only 26 against OKC the last game there. So I don't know. It's His, his minutes are interesting. I, I do expect at least 30 here, maybe even more. And we know with Browns, he's super, super productive. So he can definitely get, there, get us there in 25, 30 minutes. Uh, and any minutes on top of that is just kind of the icing on top. So... Uh, or to the cherry on top, as they should, as they say. So I do like Russ here over 31 and a half PRA and the Mikel Bridges over 26 points and rebounds. I think they're both in line for big games, you know, coming off of two bad games pretty much for both players. I do like both of those. Uh, let's look at what other NBA props we can get here for the best probability. And as you can see here, Mikel Bridges is still in like the best probability uh, for the. He's the best one that doesn't have the over or under push potential. So that's a solid one. Herb Jones is kind of standing out there at under two and a half assists. Let's take a look at him real fast. Uh, if you guys want to, you know, substitute him in. Pull it up. He's hit the past three out of five, but he's just not a high, high usage guy when it comes to assists. I mean, the minutes have been solid, you know, 31, 34, 28, 33, 25. As you can see, he doesn't shoot the ball a ton. And he's barely, I mean, he's not even averaging two and a half assists per game. Uh, he's kind of hitting the top right here, three, four, for that one, one, seven, but then one, two, eight, five. As you can see, two is pretty much where he's floating. So I don't mind the the board telling us to hit the, the under there for his assists. But as I said, right now, going to be sticking with Mikel Bridges over 26 and a half points and rebounds, and then Russell Westbrook over 31 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. So let's get another two most clean sweep here, guys. If you guys like the picks, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments down below what picks you guys are going with today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.